Come on. That's all the wine you're gonna give me? Yeah. What? This is a sin. This is not even a four ounce pour. 10 ounces minimum in this house. Ashley, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it is your first time and if it is your first time why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for today's video before we begin I have a confession I love wine so much so that a few years ago we hosted a Friendsgiving and I actually made everyone these really cute DIY wine tags as favors and a little memorabilia from our Friendsgiving we shared together so I thought what better thing to do today than to recreate those wine tags with you guys so that will be today's video and then I have a surprise towards the end so for materials what we'll need is I actually got these craft hoop earrings from Michaels. I'm not really one to make homemade jewelry, but I thought that they worked really perfect for the line tag idea. So hoop earrings from Michaels. You also need your beads. This one's kind of open, so I'm trying not to spill. So I have this and then another option on the side. You will also need whatever you want to use for your charm or your pendant. You want to make sure you get something to differentiate the wine glasses. So the whole purpose of the wine tags is you have a bunch of people over and you don't want everybody's wine glass that looks the same to kind of get mixed up. So the little wine tags at the bottom helps everybody remember which cup they actually had. So I have these little crystal charms that I found at Michael's also. And I have them in four different colors so that we can have Four different wine tags and then the only other thing that you'll need are these round tip pliers and solely to just secure the little hoop at the end we want to make sure we get a good bend in there okay so it would not be a design by smashly video if we didn't have our beautiful assembly line so here we are the next step that i would recommend is kind of mess around with your beads a little bit and decide the little design that you want to put on the hoop beforehand so I just went around, I messed around off camera, but this is like the little design I came up with. So this is only half. I'm gonna do this on one side, put the charm in the middle, and then replicate this half on the other side. And then super simple. So this is how the little hoop earrings come. Um, but I kind of just bend the loose tip forward a little bit, and then this is gonna be where we insert the beads. half the side done so now time to add our little charm and these are so pretty just to give you guys a little bit of a close-up this is what the little crystal charms look like so I'm gonna go ahead and replicate the beads on the other side once you have all the beads on there that you want I would just recommend taking this little side and just sticking it in this way for now. We're gonna bend them all at the end and secure them so that way they're easy to clip on your wine glass. But this is how they will look. Okay, wine tags all assembled and almost completed. The last and final step that I like to add is to Kind of bend the tip let me show you guys a little closer bend this tip so it kind of becomes a hook um, and the way that i do that is stick it through hold that together and then using the pliers we're just going to take the very end and bend it backwards you want to make sure it's secure enough where the beads and everything is not going to spill everywhere but also easy enough where you can take them on and off the wine glasses for washing. There we go. Next, I will show you guys how easy it is to clip these on the wine glasses. Okay, we have our empty wine glass, empty for now, not forever. Um, but I just wanna show you guys how easy it is this again is just how the little wine tag came out. I think they're so cute, so ornate. Um, so all that you do is that little hook that we made right over there at the top, you wanna unhook it. So you, you see how it kind of just slides out. 
and then you just secure that around your glass and then rehook it. And it's super easy, super cute. And take a look at how that. So essentially your guests would be walking around with these little cute tags on them and everyone would hopefully remember which wine is theirs. Mom? That's all the wine you're gonna give me? Yeah. What? This is a sin. This is not even a four ounce pour. 10 ounces minimum in this house. Now we have wine. Cheers, you guys. And then take a look at our char. I've been waiting all week for a glass of this. I'm drinking Naomi Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is hands down my favorite red wine. Pinot Grigio for white. Put in the comment section below, what kind of wine do you guys like to drink? I feel like I kind of change over the years. I used to be a cab girl. Cab and I have broken up for a little bit, but it will always have a place in my heart. But this one is really, really good. Got it at Costco. But you can't have wine without a charcuterie board. And I got a ton of feedback on the last video. So thank you guys so much for all the comments and the love. But a few people reached out to me and said, hey, we thought that you were actually gonna plate this. So I figured, you know, this video is gonna be pretty short today. So I think I'm gonna take you guys to my kitchen so that we can put together charcuterie board and I'll show you guys how I plate it on the one that I made in the last video. And if you haven't seen it, you can go ahead and click the link up here. Okay, you guys, we are back. We are in my kitchen. We are ready to go. I have all of my charcuterie spread in front of me. But essentially, and if it's a designed by Smashly charcuterie board, it's probably gonna have an assortment of cheese, of meat, there's gonna be some fruit, probably some veggies, some nuts, some jams. I love it all, so I usually try to have that all on there. So we'll go ahead and get going. So we got some brie. The cool thing about this one, obviously we made it chalkboard so that we can actually write what some of the things are on here. The other thing I like to add is, I have like these little bowls. I got a set of them, on, they're originally from Target from Chrissy Teigen's set and I usually will fill these with some stuff to kind of just give it some depth, some height. Um, so I think I'm gonna add some pecans. I'm gonna put that, I don't know, about here sounds right. I'll do some grapes by it and pepperoni. I have a couple different crackers. So I'm just gonna like lay some out. A little grape here by the brie. Also like to add, this is my favorite fig. Uh, fig jam, fig spread, whatever you wanna call it. This is my favorite of life. So this is usually over here somewhere. And I just stick a little baby spoon I got at Ikea in there so people can take their own servings. Some olives. Actually, let me write on here. And I have some Kalamata olives we're just gonna add in here. And we got some Colby Jack cheese. I think I'm just gonna add this, kind of just pile this up in the middle. Then I also have some pitted dates. I like to switch up the um, writing on the chalkboards. Okay, we'll add another little... Oh, you know what? I have some um, pickled snap peas I want to add on here one sec. Okay, second favorite. I love pickles, by the way. We'll get into that story another day. But I found these um, pickled, no brine added snap peas at Target. It was 99 cents. These are so good. I'm going to put those guys right here. So this has all the elements that I love. I know I mentioned um, fruits and veggies. What I failed to mention is the fruits could either be fresh or they could be um, dried out as well. So anytime you have some of those, that's great. But I'd say this is a pretty hearty charcuterie board. I'm definitely gonna grow on this in a minute. But yeah, we have our brie, we have our pickled snap peas, some crackers, we have our pitted dates and pepperoni. Probably, I, I wish I had some like prosciutto, or some uh, sopressata that I could add on here just to give a bit more variety of meats. But I think all in all, this is a pretty solid charcuterie board. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I put it together. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching putting together the wine tags and also plating the charcuterie board, perhaps a little bit differently than what you're used to. And now that you have your wine tag and charcuterie board set, I feel like we're ready to go. 
Um, the other thing I was thinking as I was putting this together, the two, if you guys were actually able to follow along and DIY both at home, this would be such a good gift for one of your friends, perhaps somebody just moved into a new home, or maybe one of your friends is known for hosting and would love something like this. Um, let me know in the comment section, is this something that you would make and then give away as a gift? Um, also, let me know what your favorite wine is. Cheers, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.